and welcome to Take Time to Create. And this is another episode of Investigative Art Journal. Today we're going to take a look at some tube watercolors. And these are just Reeves watercolors. I found this pack at Michael's. And what I want to know is how many half pans can you get out of one tube of watercolor? So let's open this up. I have a lot of questions with watercolors because it's a medium I'm really getting into. So you'll see the rest of these watercolors being used in different ways. Pretty excited. Brand new pack, we're going to open it up. Let's just take out this ultramarine blue. All right. So my question is, is how many of these half pans can you fill with one tube? Like a lot of watercolorists, I like to take my tube watercolors and put them into these little half pans. And that is so I can travel with it. It's, it's a little harder to travel with tubes of watercolor. Uh, and I do a lot of flying and so I always think that the pressure gets to them as well. So this way you just pour it into a little half pan or a full pan. These are half pans. And then you let it dry completely and then it's perfectly fine to travel. Now I am just doing straight tube watercolor into the half pan. I'm not adding any glycerin or anything else because I know some artists will add certain things to help it stick, to help it from cracking, all of those good things. I'm not doing that in this experiment. I am just pouring it out and oh that's a really pretty color this is also really nice so if you want to do some more expensive watercolors and you don't think you can go through the whole thing you might be able to share with a friend and you say well we'll pour them out into half pans or if you like it in a pan and you have a friend who likes it in the tube then you can share as well which would be really good so that's one I have to say it's not perfect but that's okay uh, we can always flatten it down I'm just getting a rough idea because it won't be exact yes. and it's 10 milliliters let me pull that up there. 10 milliliters and 0.34 fluid ounces. And that's a pretty standard size. And I should have done this before, but I forgot. This is an artist loft and it is 12 milliliters and it's 0.41 fluid ounces. This is a Pentel and it's pretty tiny and it's five milliliters. So it's half the size. And this is a half used Van Gogh and it is uh, the 10 milliliters as well. So it's the exact same size as the Reeves. So, sorry I didn't do this earlier, but I do wanna show you that. This is a pretty standard size tube. All right, that's three. So you and two other friends can have a full half pan. So I'm going to use the little plastic squeezy tubey thing. I don't know, what is it called? <laughs> I don't know, I like my name. And all you do is you just take it down here and we're going to roll it. And I am even going to cut this tube open at the end because I wanna make sure I get every single drop. Look at that, all right, wow. So we have four, and let's see how we're doing on the fifth one. This always surprises me. Okay, that's the end of that rolly squeezy tubey thing, <laughs> the plastic thing. Now I'm going to see if I can bend this. So I'm going to kind of fold it over, and I'm going to squeeze out what's in that. A lot of times product will sit right here, kind of where there's a, a little shoulder. And so I'm trying to fold it and then I press on the inside. Look at that, wow. 
and I'm squeezing it like that. All right. This one's not full yet, but what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my nasty scissors, my, my scissors that are not wonderful, kind of, oh, kind of cut it in half a little bit. I didn't cut it very well, but I wanted to open it up and see what's going on. I'll do it like this. All right, so I cut it in half and I have a popsicle stick. You can use whatever you have to try to scrape it out. If I had a little spatula, that'd be great, but I don't have one. But I do have a popsicle stick and I wanna get what's in there because that's quite a bit of product. So we're going to scrape it out just like that. Get every single drop. All right. So I'm going to say almost five half pans because this one's not quite full. So I'm going to say four and a half half pans you can get from one tube of watercolor. That is a lot of product. So find some friends. You can buy higher quality watercolors and share them with your friends and that might make more fiscal sense. And there we go. I'm going to let these dry and of course I will use them. I will travel with them. I will take them with me. We'll see how well they do. And since I didn't add anything to keep them from cracking, we'll see how it does. So there you go. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Investigative Art Journal. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and on my blog. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.